In Book 2 of the Aeneid, before Aeneas and his Trojan allies fight to the last man in defense of burning Troy, we run across one of Priam's friends, an old man named Eucalagon. Aeneas, having just woken up, climbs up onto his roof to assess the situation, and here's the reference. Already there, the grand house of Deiphobus stormed by fire, crashing in ruins. Already, his neighbor Eucalagon, up in flames. And uh, here's the Latin. Virgil uh, really implies that Eucalagon's house is up in flames, not the man himself. Or, well, you know, maybe both. Eucalagon is a Greek name. Uh, he's in the Iliad, and so his name itself is Greek. And here's what it looks like in Greek. It's pronounced in Greek more like Eucalagon. The proper Latin pronunciation is probably similar. Uh, a combination of uk, which means not, and alego, to care or to trouble. That's my best pronunciation of the Greek. So his name means, uh, I don't care, or no worries, and that's it. Eucalagon is a bit character in the Aeneid, and we're done. Except there's more. Here's a quote from Juvenal, a poet who lived more than a hundred years after Virgil in his third satire. The place to live is far from all these fires, and all these panics in the night. Eucalagon is already summoning a hose, moving his things, and your third floor is already smoking. You're unaware, since if the alarm was raised downstairs, the last to burn will be the one a bare tile protects from the rain, up there where the gentle doves coo over their eggs. This Eucalagon isn't the same guy. Juvenal calls his neighbor that name because, well, his neighbor's house is on fire, just like Eucalagon in the Aeneid. But Juvenal puns on his name. The guy whose name means I don't care shows that he really doesn't care about anyone else. He's summoning the hose to put out his fire, even while your own house is burning. But he hasn't told you. You are unaware. But hey, at least he's learned his lesson from the burning of Troy. His house burns, but he saves his stuff this time. And so from Virgil and Juvenal, this name has made its way into the modern age for a neighbor whose house is on fire. Here's a reference to him in Rabelais' Gargantua and Pantagruel. And another one by uh, Thomas Kirby. And Eucalagon is also one of the favorite words of Will Shorts, the famous puzzle master of the New York Times and NPR. When asked by the Harvard Crimson if he uses the word often, Shorts replied, Well, I hope my neighbor's house isn't on fire. It's hard to imagine it coming up in conversation. What do you do if your neighbor's house is on fire? Do you call the fire department and say, I have a Eucalagon? They're not going to know what the hell you are talking about. It's amazing that a name in the Aeneid for a guy whose house burns during the sack of Troy can make its way into English as a person who suffers the same fate.